Hey guys, welcome to Stuffbox. In this video, I'm going to show you how to screen record with audio on a Mac using QuickTime. If you tried to video screen capture with QuickTime on your Mac before, you'll know they can only record audio through your mic. As a result, you'll capture external noise that you don't mean to capture and the sound quality is not great. So if we launch QuickTime and do a screen record capture and then click on the option, you'll see that the microphone points to either none or built-in microphone. So if we point it to built-in microphone and try to record, this is the sound that we'll get. On the search bar, search for lamp, and it should show you the first choice, which is lamp stack. Oh boy, I gotta tell you, that, that, that sounds awful. So to fix that, let's open a new tab and download an app called Soundflower. So we'll search it. It should give you a few results, but what you're looking for is rogueamoeba.com link. Click that. Soundflower has been discontinued, but you can still follow the GitHub link. Now we've also put the link in the description to save you time googling it. And after that is what you're looking for is a signed Soundflower installer. So click that. Scroll all the way down. And by the way, this version is compatible with Mac Catalina and Mojave. You want to look for the DMG file. Click that. Once it has downloaded, open the file. Then double click the Soundflower package. Now you might get this error message. And to fix that, click OK here. And then open System Preferences. Go to Security and Privacy. Then under the General tab, you'll see that the Soundflower has been blocked. Click Open Anyway. And then enter your admin password. And then it'll give you another warning. Click Open. This will then install our software package. Let me close System Preferences. Then click Continue on our installer. Click Install. And then enter your admin password again. And then go through the whole installation. I've fast forward this part, but the installation should take about 2-3 to three minutes. While it's installing, listen to this music. Great, so it's now installed. We can click on Move to Trash. It will ask you that the installer is trying to access your download folder. Click OK. So now the next thing we want to do is open Audio MIDI Setup. The fastest way to get there is just do a search for Audio MIDI Setup. You'll notice that you'll have Sunflower 2CH and 64CH. Now click plus on the corner and click Create Aggregate Device. Check the built-in microphone and built-in output. This will now allow us to route our microphone through our audio device without recording through our speaker. Now the next thing we want to do is click on the plus again. And this time, click Create Multi-Output Device. Then on here, make sure built-in output is checked. And then click Soundflower 2CH and Soundflower 64CH. Now the next thing we want to do is go to System Preferences. Click Sound. And then go to Output. Make sure this one is on Multi-Output Device. And then go to Input. This one, make sure it's on aggregate device. Okay, so now we're ready to record. So open QuickTime. I still have mine open here. And then click New Screen Recording. And then under Option, you now have multiple devices. Pick Soundflower. It doesn't matter if it's 2CH or 64CH. I'm going to pick 64CH. And now if we press Record, and record it with audio. It's gonna be installed as well as pricing and if you've deployed it in the past. To continue, click launch. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt it. Play that recording. It now has a much better sound. Deployed it in the past. To continue, click launch. Once you're done with the recording, make sure you go back to system preferences and then under sound, 
Make sure that your input device is on external mic and the output device is on your headphone. Otherwise, you might not be able to hear your music or people can't hear you if you're doing FaceTime or Zoom calls. If for some reason you don't want to use this Soundflower application anymore, you want to go back and download that Soundflower package, double click it, and then you should see the uninstall Soundflower script. And then all you have to do is click play and then it will delete that Soundflower application. If you find this video helpful, please click the like button and thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below.